Hey everyone, Christian here. Welcome back to the channel. And today is the start of our second lockdown. I'm talking about the whole country, the UK. We're going to have a lockdown starting today for a month until the 2nd of December. So I'll be working more at home. So the more I would need my internet connection to be more uh, stable. So I've came across with this rock space. It is a Wi-Fi repeater and it's a dual band Wi-Fi repeater. So most of the routers now is a dual band. So this would be a best fit for the router itself. Well, let's give it a go. Starting with the unboxing. As you can see in the box, it does say that it works with any Wi-Fi router. And just to mention, this has been selling in the Amazon US and it has more than 4,000 five stars. So that's quite good. All right, so it's ideal for like big houses. So that you have a more stable connection. Opening the box, uh, there's another hard cardboard box, but we can only see uh, two things inside, which is the Wi-Fi repeater itself and the quick installation guide, which is all in English, so it's quite convenient. And uh, yeah, just a quick look. You'll have the light on the front. You have an Ethernet cable port with the reset, and I love this because it is with a UK plug. And before you start any configuration, you have to set the antennas to a vertical position. It's not very thick. It's only 12.2 by 11 by 9 centimeters, and it only weighs 260 grams. On paper, it does say that the coverage is up to 120 meters, and it, it is super easy and fast connection. We're gonna try that. It also supports WPS, and uh, yeah, it works with any router. To set this up, it's just four easy steps. Or another option is you can just use the WPS button if your router supports WPS. So let's go to the Wi-Fi settings and uh, just search the Wi-Fi. It should have an EXT um, extension on that Wi-Fi name, Rockspace EXT. That's the default Wi-Fi name, but it's gonna change that to your own Wi-Fi name. You can modify that as well later. So once uh, you're ready, you can connect. And once connected, it would automatically prompt you to create an admin password for the uh, user interface for this Wi-Fi repeater. But if it doesn't, you can just manually go to its user interface by entering these numbers. It's in the instructions, so you'll be guided. All right, so you can create the, the admin password and or you can select not now if you're not ready. And it's gonna automatically scan the Wi-Fi available and on my initial search I don't see my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi but uh, I did change it you can always go to your Wi-Fi settings on your main router and you can change the channel there's a specified channel if you want to look at it it's in the quick installation guide so that you can connect to the 5 gigahertz so once you have that then you just straight away enter your password and it would tell you that it has been extended automatically. So you're gonna find two Wi-Fi because this is a dual band Wi-Fi extender. Okay, so I think we're good to go. The next step now is to check if you have a good signal. So make sure that you go to your router. It's the signal should be solid blue to make sure that the, the Wi-Fi repeater is receiving good signal from your main router itself. But if it doesn't, you have to move it to another place. All right, so let's do a test. I'm gonna connect to my uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and let's run a speed test, just a base. And uh, we're gonna test it again on the basing, uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi repeater. So as you can see, I not that fantastic, but this is a 2.4 gigahertz. This is already what I'm getting uh, speed. So I like the upload speed, but the download speed is not pretty good. Just to highlight, you're not gonna extend or you're not gonna have a faster internet when it comes to this. It's just gonna make your internet more stable than what you already have on that particular uh, location or probably in your house, it's gonna boost the signal. Okay, so this is now connected to the Rockspace Wi-Fi extender. Let's see how much we're getting. Okay, so it looks like it's slightly higher compared to the connection to the router. So basically it improved my signal on this particular spot. My router, the main router is actually on a different room 
and um, on the studio so it is pretty good let's try testing it with some of the games let's see if it is stable let's find out and gaming wise so far it's pretty smooth I don't see or experience any lags at all the picture is quite clear you can check out the links in the description below if you do want to purchase this uh, currently it's only selling on Amazon both in the US and in the UK so I have different links in the description below do check it out and that's all for today thank you so much for watching and if you do love this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and this channel is reaching 30,000 I'm so happy and thankful for everyone make sure you stay tuned because I'll be doing a giveaway Woohoo! so I'll see you guys on the next video